We continue our debate right now between Melanie Morgan and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Robert, I have to ask you about this report that's coming out from the CIA. We got a word on it. They're apparently going to put out all their family jewels, as they call them, all the mischief the CIA's been up with all the years. In 1975, the Secretary of State Henry Kissinger told President Ford, quote, Helms, that's Helms, the head of CIA, said, all these stories are just the tip of the iceberg. If they come out, blood will flow. For example, Robert Kennedy personally managed the operation on the assassination of Castro. Do you have any thoughts on that? It's apparently well, all going to come no, out next week. That is completely inconsistent with everything that has been found. Um, you know, the Church Committee investigated this for almost a year and found out that my father not only had nothing to do with that, those assassination attempts, but was furious and rebuked the CIA when he found out about it. Um, it was inconsistent with everything else my father did while he was in office and everything that his aide said. Um, Richard Helms, this was, was a rogue operator who, and this is what the Church Committee found out, who had run those operations by himself. Now, you know, the quote that you have is a quote that is very self-serving, a quote by Richard Helms, as well as a quote by Henry Kissinger. Yeah. Richard Helms had a very, very antagonistic relationship with my father. He despised my father. My father did not trust him. And, uh, and uh, he was a very secretive and a very deceptive man. And it doesn't surprise me that he would say something like this, or that Kissinger would say something like this, but it's completely inconsistent with the facts as they've been laid out by the Intelligence Committee and by the aides who watched my father function during that time. And it's inconsistent with everything he did during, for example, okay. the Cuban Missile Crisis. His concern, his deep concern, that we should be a moral nation, that um, we shouldn't do anything that would compromise our moral authority in the eyes of the world. So he wasn't involved with either Mongoose or Amlash, either of those operations? He found out about them afterwards. And the way he found out, you know, his aides were present, like John Siegenthaler and Dick Goodwin at the time, when he walked out of a meeting with two CIA agents who disclosed that they had tried to kill Castro using a cigar with a bomb in it. And he was yeah. absolutely furious and regarded them as kind of crackpots. And he was very, very angry that they had used the mob, which, of course, he had a history of, of antagonism with, in order to further their operations. He was furious at Helms. And it doesn't surprise me that after he died, Helms would then try to connect him to muddy the water. But, the, you know, the evidence is this, that Helms really took over the CIA because he was instrumental in helping John McComb, who was the CIA director, in covering up the suicide death of his wife. And after that, McComb let him alone, and Helms went off as a rogue agent with Operation Mongoose and these other operations designed to murder Fidel Castro, that when my father found out about it, that he didn't share the information, my father found out about it through other agents and went after Helms. And it doesn't surprise me that after my father died, that Helms or Kissinger would fabricate this kind of thing. Okay. But, you know, it's inconsistent with everything the Intelligence Committee found who investigated it thoroughly. Melanie, what's your reaction to the news that the CIA is going to come out with its family jewels, admitting a role in uh, overthrowing the elected government in Iran, the overthrow of the elected government in Chile, trying to knock off Castro, knocking off Trujillo, the whole thing with our Benz down in Guatemala, the whole history of the CIA and those activities are apparently going to now be admitted to. What do you make of that in terms of our history and our values? Well, what I have to say is I'm extremely disappointed that uh, this information is coming out right now in the middle of a hot war when we have American men and women who are serving in harm's way in Iraq and Afghanistan. I understand the need um, for disclosure, and, and I'm totally in, in favor of that, more sunlight, better. But uh, I question the timing. The timing looks suspiciously political to me, and I think this is Why one would of the, the CIA want to Bush administration. Why would the I CIA want to mess the biggest... with the war effort? Uh, I'm not saying that they want to mess with a war effort. What I'm saying is I think there has been a concerted um, effort between uh, a, a deep-seated conflict between the CIA and George Bush and the war on terror. And I think that uh, there's a lot of political motivation there. And, and I'm sorry to see it happening right now. By the way, I agree with you on that. I do think there's an amazing, amazing intramural fight, a civil war almost, between the CIA and the vice president's office and the president's office. Anyway, thank you, Melanie Morgan. Thank you, Robert F. Kennedy 